In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can create beautiful images like this one using Illustrator and masking with a font. Okay, so this font that I've used is called Twindigo Script. It's our new font. And I'm going to start from the beginning. So here is an image that I found on a stock image website. And you just want to find an image that has a lot of bright and bold colors and isn't too light. Um, generally, something that's a little bit darker is going to work better. So I'm going to add some text by using the type tool. So I just make a text box and type in my quote. I'm going to use bloom. Um, actually, let me change the type first to Twindigo so that you can see some of these cool features we've built in and I'm making this size 70. Okay, so if I type bloom, you can see that as I do the double O, it changes to um, a double ligature. So those are just some of the features that we built into the font to make it look more handmade. Okay, bloom where you are planted. And I'm going to center this and adjust the um, leading or in other words, the amount of space between my lines and make it smaller. So let's do 60. Okay, I usually like to change the color of the text to white. It doesn't really matter what color it is because it'll change anyway, but it just makes it a little bit easier to see where you're placing it on the image. So just put it anywhere that it looks like it's going to be um, colored in the background. So like I can see I want this orange flower and the pink flower here to appear. So that looks pretty good. And you can always adjust this afterwards. I'm actually going to make this background image a little bit bigger and move things around like this. Okay, so then here's where the magic comes in. You want to select both the image and the text together. And then you can either do Control 7 or Command 7 if you're on a Mac, or you can go to Object, Clipping Mask, Make. And there you go. See how easy that was? So if you wanted to undo that, um, you could go to right click it and do undo, well, you could do control Z, but if you're further down in the process, then you'd want to do release clipping mask like this. Okay, I'm gonna do control seven to put that back on. And one really nice thing about this is you can actually edit the text even after it's been masked. So you can double click here or do the T key on your keyboard and let's say I want to do an exclamation, then it just automatically adds it into this masking and it works perfectly. Okay, so if you would like to try this out, um, it's you can see it's really simple, it only takes a couple of steps. If you'd like this font Twindigo, you can buy it at the link in the description below. Thanks for watching, hopefully this helped, and let us know in the comments if you've tried this out.